This is an ISIL municipal office in Raqqa, reportedly still functional. Its equipment still intact and its men still manning the street. Al Jazeera obtained these exclusive pictures from the capital of ISIL's self-declared caliphate. The group insists recent airstrikes by the United States and the Syrian government have had little impact. Look at these videos last For some, their grip on Raqqa is not a surprise. This wasn't going to be finished quickly. It's going to take many, many weeks or many, many months. I think now at this point, we're looking at perhaps multiple years. So at this point, they are undeterred. This is, this is what they want. I mean, their, their stated goal was they want to take this fight, uh, they want to make the sectarian, take it from, uh, from the Sunnis to the Shia. On Tuesday, activists reported Syrian government airstrikes on Raqqa that killed dozens, many of them civilians. ISIL uploaded videos to show civilians hit by airstrikes carried out by both the Assad regime and the United States. They include this man who pleads to Muslims around the world in front of a destroyed mosque. The U.S. government condemned the strikes. In a statement, the State Department says, we are horrified by the reports that the Assad regime's airstrikes in Raqqa killed dozens of civilians and demolished residential areas adding that the Assad regime's continued slaughter of Syrian civilians further exposes its callous disregard for human life. And back in Raqqa, the group's self-declared Ministry of Finance has ordered the closure of this shop due to fraud. Some analysts suggest that ISIL is trying to show people in Raqqa and the outside world that it's still in charge. Whether ISIL control in Raqqa is real or just propaganda is difficult to say. What seems clear, though, is that the fight to destroy the group will be a long one. Osama bin Javid, Al Jazeera.